ask me questions like, well, who was the best? I always say I was the best. You are so dumb. I'm you are best. really dumb. I make you good. And the minute I say that you're no longer good, you're no longer good. Well, that's because you're not getting men that you actually respect and value. <laughs> because if you were getting those type of guys, you wouldn't have to keep switching up guys. But they always got to paint it like they're the one in charge. They're the valuable ones. The guys that they got with weren't really good enough. So why did you get with them? Why did you have anything to do with them? If they were such peasants and you're such a queen, why did you even give them the time of day? See, when you actually think about the dumb sh that women say, it, it rarely adds up. But they hoping that you don't think too deeply in it. And you just get mesmerized by the fact that they're kind of cute. Won't work with us red pill guys. But there's still plenty of blue pill guys you can pull it on. But every day you're getting older. And less desirable physically. So you better find something you can lock down. But if you couldn't lock down something you value by now, chances are you never will. So just get a guy that work at McDonald's. There's plenty of good men that work at Mickey D's. Because I could think that you're awesome on Monday. Because I'm in love with you for the next five minutes. And then on Tuesday when I hate you, you're terrible. Another unpopular opinion, but still a bad bitch pro tip. <laughs> Don't settle for a man that's not physically your type. Now, before you ladies go off the deep end trying to go for tens, please understand that you need to still hit within your bases, okay? Don't sit here going for Idris Elba's and Michael B. Jordan's knowing damn well you're a seven, okay? Like, we're not having that energy, all right? Because then you're going to get disappointed when you constantly get shot down. And once again, it's no coincidence that a woman of this physical level is saying this. See, here's the thing. Even if a woman is a 9 or 10, to a 9 or 10 guy, that's no big deal. To a guy that hit 9s and 10s all the time, a 9 and 10 is a 7. That's his average every day. So even 9 or 10 women are shooting out of their league when they go for 9 or 10 men. That's the deeper level to it. Because your type is not approachable or reachable for you. Okay? How do I know? I'm a fucking four. Okay? Now, I know you guys are probably looking at me and you're like, bitch, you are not a fucking four. You are way shooting your shot below. Okay, yes, maybe I'm a seven. But guess what? I have three kids. Do you really believe that a fine specimen of a ten wants a who's a seven with three kids? And here's the thing. Before you think, oh, she a real one, she she recognizes the reality. All of them do. All of them realize that they're not tens for real without the makeup. All of them realize her score has went down now that she got two kids. They all know the truth. They just got a front for the talk and the gram and all that to try to trick a man and to believe in her lie that, no, I'm not less valuable. You should take me. Do y'all ever just look at y'all man and be like, bro, shut up talking sometimes. Like, you always just talking and talking and talking and, and breathing and talk. Like, just shut up. You don't always have to be heard. Be quiet. You want a man that... Okay. Let's go back. Let's look at her before I break her down. First and foremost, I mean, what do you have on your head? That's childish. You're a grown woman and you look like a kid. You look ridiculous. Any woman who goes online talking like this is not dating material. She clearly doesn't respect men. If she online talk about, oh, I'm tired of my man talking. Will y'all just shut up sometime? I don't need to hear you all the time. Why are you breathing? See, they don't want us to breathe, fellas. <laughs> it's cool to hate men. It's totally socially acceptable to hate men and want men to not breathe. Can you imagine the backlash you would get if you said that about any woman? I don't care how terrible she was, any woman. I mean, to be fair, yeah, there are plenty of dudes who never shut up. That's not the problem. I mean, she's right. Some dudes should shut the hell up. But the fact that she's coming online talking about it is the problem. If you want a man that makes money and is tall, we want a girl that's not a hoe. It's hardwired in us biologically. We can't fight it. For me to say that you're immature for wanting that is stupid of me. Just like you for saying, it's immature of you caring about a woman's past. That's stupid of you to say that. That's because the modern dating game. Right. Men cannot have standards, but women can make all the demands they want. Every single girl, and I knew it, I said it before you said it, you want 100K a year, you want a man who's six feet tall, but what's the percent of the guy? Like, that's the uh, top 5% earners. Don't niggas want bad? Yeah, but we have to earn it. They just think they deserve it based okay, on so these girls have to earn guys that are high quality guys too. Here's the thing, none of them think they have to earn it. Do you ladies think you have to earn it? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> no, I just deserve it because I'm woman. Hear me roar. I deserve a top tier man just because I have long hair and what's between my legs. And I can put on a fake smile from time to time. Even though he had to fight, <laughs> you know, cry, bleed, <laughs> climb mountains, 
jump hurdles, take beatings. He had to do all that to become this top 5% man. But all I have to do is exist. And then I ain't cooking and cleaning because I ain't your mama. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Oh, it's so much. First off, when she says, come to me whole, no broken pockets, no broken spirits. Look, she's saying what she's dated up to this point. You know what I mean? Anytime a woman says her deal breakers, that's what she's been dealing with. Because that's the first thing on her mind to say, I don't want that no more. And she says she want a business owner. Look, a successful business owner don't want some chick with two kids who passed the wall with some 1993 dookie braids in her head. They, they don't want that. 